The Victoria Kool-Aid Society builds homes, lives and community, creating opportunities for people who are homeless or living in poverty. One of their homes is Sandy Merriman House, which opened its doors 20 years ago and has been supporting women in need for the past two decades. Veronica Cooper has more. I know I don't have the biggest voice, so I really appreciate everybody's patience. But... Sandy Merriman House has opened its doors to the public, celebrating 20 years of helping Victoria's most vulnerable women. Sandy Merriman House is a 25-bed emergency shelter for homeless women, women at risk. We have four emergency beds over top of those 25 beds in case the police or the hospital call us to say there's someone in need and they, they need access to safe shelters. Women can stay up to 30 days. The house also offers a daily drop-in program, serving more than 800 hot, nutritious meals every month. It's open to everyone in the community to come, have something to eat, uh, access to showers, staff support, referrals, advocacy. So we, we try to be whatever people need. Many street women in our community, their voices say they don't feel safe using those services. Because 20 years ago, there was no shelter in Victoria just for women unless they were staying in a 15-bed shelter with 100 men and they didn't feel so safe. At the same time, through a government program, vulnerable women on welfare were offered a chance to retrain in the trades. So why not have those same women learn on the job building their own safe house? And actually be a part of the crew to renovate what was the bed and breakfast into Sandy Merriman House, which was very unique. Uh, first time it's ever been done. Don't know if it's ever been done in Canada again. Dennis was there two decades ago, helping to build Sandy Merriman House. I was the, actually the construction manager's assistant. So they started mentoring me and gearing me more towards, because I knew I wanted to work here. The house is named to honor the memory of one of the other women who helped build the shelter. Very gifted in construction. She would have made a great carpenter. She was the epitome of who this house was envisioned for, somebody working in the sex trade with addiction issues, housing issues. She accidentally died of a heroin overdose during the project. You can support Sandy Merriman House through the links tab on our website. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.